Not a creature was stirring, not even a skeever. Well, that's just plain wrong for true sanguine and debella believers. Yeah, Saturalia is a holiday of debauchery. Who knew? It's time to kick this season into overdrive. Lanterns, shops, decorations across the land. The citizens of Skyrim know who's coming to town. Festive lanterns now dot the major cities of Skyrim, as well as one little town by a river. They hang, they sit, they float like the magical world it is. Mod page. Files. Download. Install. Activate. A little shop at Solitude Lighthouse. The lady of the house sells holiday treats. The gentleman provides Christmas gear. A festive log for those cold evening star nights. Even a holiday spell or two. To light your way as if you've been blessed by the winter itself. Mod page. Files. Download the main file. Install. Activate. Almost every town's exterior cell and a few interior are overflowing with Christmas goodness. Various textures given a Christmas touch. Candy cane lanes, spruced up spruces, chests transformed into presents that practically beg you to loot them. And we can't forget old Frosty and Faller Saturalia. Go ahead, activate them. Mod page. Main file. Download. Install. Activate. What's Christmas without a cozy dwelling after a long day of slaying in mistletoe? Between Whiterun and Riverwood, there's a home to call your own. Outdoor workspace in case Red Slay down, produce to harvest for that holiday stew. As you pass through the festive threshold, you find stockings hung by the chimney with care and presents by a tree, but who put them there? First, we need the original Dovahkiin retreat. Mod page. Files. Download. Install. Activate. Now for the Christmas add-on. Mod page. Files. Download. Install and activate. Make sure this loads after the original. Now go get some hot chocolate and kick off those snowshoes. Next time, I'm putting you to work. Mods of Christmas past are paying us a visit. And for a few of them, it's up to us to port them over. See you next time.